Hi, I'm Black Bright. Welcome to my channel. If it's the first time you're passing through, you'll find that um, I hope this topic is of interest to you and that is why you clicked on it. If it is, please um, click on the up button, the thumbs up. If, it's, if you're disappointed and it's not what you wanted, you can put the thumbs down. And if you feel as though you want to know more about what I do, then you can always subscribe. But thank you very much for passing through and for allowing me into your space. Um, thanks for my subscribers, for allowing, um, for checking in on me, for um, feedback, for comments and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, um, it seems as though I'm on some kind of legal um, or legislation kick tonight. Um, but this one is for YouTubers though. Um, because what's happening is, is that now when you upload a video, you're going to have a big blue line going across the top saying not made for kids and you have to click on it and you have to use beta for those of you. It doesn't really matter if you don't know what it is, uh, if you're not a YouTuber and you're just curious. Um, but it's got a blue line across it and it takes ages to upload and now you have to, um, on every single video, you now have to state whether or not your your content is suitable for kids or not. Um, so it isn't as difficult as it looks. I mean, you can either do a blanket thing and click on videos and edit and then audience, and then you can click the whole of your videos and put either they're not for kids or they are for kids. The only thing is it affects um, your monetization if it's not for if it is for kids because they have to be selective about the advertisers and stuff, and I'm sure that means a lot of work. So, anyway, I'm just going to read it out quickly. <clears throat> I've got an appointment in 10 minutes, so this is going to be a short video. So, not made for kids, for the YouTubers who don't read their mail on YouTube. And there's a lot of people who don't read their mail. I mean, I get this mail and normally I just delete, 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 delete. But sometimes, occasionally, I'll read it, and usually the one I read... I read it for a reason. Anyway, important changes that may impact your monetization and contact content discoverability are coming. Starting the 12th of November 2019, all creators are required to tell us if their content is made for kids in order to comply with the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, in brackets COPPA and or other applicable laws. To help you comply, we are introducing a new audience setting in the YouTube studio. Depending on the amount of made for kids content on your channel, you can set your audience at either the channel level or the video level. For those who are setting it at the channel level, it's just one click. Potential audience, audience settings. Um, these changes are required as part of the settlement with the U.S. Federation Trade Commission, FTC, and New York Attorney General, and will help you comply with the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act. We know that these changes won't be easy for some creators, and that this is, and that this is required change is going to make some time getting used to, but these are important steps to make sure you comply with the law. Please read more below. Oh, well, I put that bit down because I just cut and pasted it and I'm going to put the link below. So what's ch changing? Starting today, which was, I think, the 12th of November, all creators are required to mark their content as made for kids or not made for kids in the YouTube studio. Starting in January, that must be 2020, we will limit the data we collect on made for kids content to comply with the law. This means we will disable personalized ads on this content, which affects revenue for creators making contents for kids, as well as certain features like comments, notification, and others. Note, you may see some small changes as we experiment and refine our systems over the next few months. Why is this happening? These changes are required as part of a settlement with the U.S. Federal Trade Commission. I've already said that. Regardless of your location, we are required to ask you to set your videos as made for kids if they fall into that category. Please make these settings as soon as possible. 
We'll also use machine learning systems to help us find content that is clearly made for kids. But do not rely on our systems to set that content for you. Like all automated systems, ours are not perfect. This is YouTube. If you don't set your content or if we detect error or abuse, we may set your audience for you. If you fail to set your content accurately, you may face compliance issues with the FTC or other authorities, and we may take action on your, on your YouTube account. What is made for kids content? We cannot provide a specific legal advice, but according to FTC's guidance on COPPA, a video is child-directed, which is what we call made for kids if, it is directed to children as the primary audience, e.g. videos for preschoolers. It is directed to children, but children are secondary audience, e.g. cartoon video that primarily targets teenagers, but is also intended for younger kids. We know this won't be easy for some creators and that this change is going to take some getting used to. Um, and while we cannot provide legal advice, we are committed to help you through this transition. You can learn more about your own obligations under the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, COPPA. Suggest you do that. That's only if you're doing content for kids. And the tools we are building to support you. Regardless of you... Oh, I've done that. Um, what else is there? Yeah. To set your audience as made for kids, you'll need to do so in the YouTube studio. You won't be able to do so in Creator Studio Classic. And like I said, if you're not a YouTuber, you're not going to understand what this means. Um, but I'm assuming that only YouTube are going to recognize the title because nearly every YouTuber has been given that blue line, which is really kind of scary. And um, you have to abide by it. So we'll make the audience selection tool available to third party applications and the YouTube APT services in the near future. For now, please use YouTube Studio to upload, upload made for kids content. Important. Why every creator must set their audience. Simplify your work workflow by selecting a channel setting. This setting will affect existing and future videos. If you choose not to select a channel setting, you'll be required to identify each video on your channel that is made for kids. Setting for individual videos will override the channel setting. This will also restrict certain features on your channel. If you're not sure whether or not your videos are for kids, check the help center article and to do um to upload it and make a difference um sign in on your studio youtube.com on the left menu click settings click channel click the advanced settings tab under audience select a yes set this channel as made for kids i always upload content that's made for kids or no set this channel as not made for kids i never upload content that is made for kids or I want to review this setting for every video and then you click save. So, um, uh, the last thing is, what else is there? Not serving personalised ads on kids' content may result in a decrease in revenue for some creators who mark their content as made for kids. We recognise that this won't be easy for some creators, but there are important steps to take to ensure compliance with COPPA and other applicable laws. So I'm sorry there was no eye contact with that one. I just felt that, you know, it was important to put it out there. I was looking online for something that told me about what was going on and all I could find was a, a movie trailer. So hopefully this is useful. Bye bye.